Hi friends, in today's episode, episode number 12, we will be continuing with our uh, subcontracting discussion what we had before. So the thing is like, to have a quick recap, um, I'll just quickly get back to your, uh, the slides. So we are in episode number 12. In episode number 11, we actually covered about how to do a subcontracting of an item by creating an automated purchase orders. And also regarding the subcontracting and operation, we had at a high level discussion about what are the setups which are required. But uh, like I mentioned in that episode, if you want a separate series need to be planned for the same, please do let me know. This actually subcontracting and operation actually calls for a, a five, six episode series. So because what I see is there are a lot of setups and uh, configurations which are actually required in order to subcontract an operation rather than subcontracting an item. So subcontracting item we have explained in that particular part one. And in this part two, we will be exploring about how to use the bomb journal. I have seen in some of the uh, manufacturers where they handle large volume of item or uh, where they exceed the capacities. In those cases, they try to subcontract those finished good items directly to their vendors. So I'll quickly skip these slides. So when you report a, report a bomb as finished, you can create a bomb journal. So primarily what we are doing over here is we have a bomb configured in the system but we will not be doing the operations and uh, the complete manufacturing process inside our premises. It can be to, due to various reasons like we don't have the capacity or we are into a planned maintenance schedule. The manufacturer is, uh, is suddenly got an upsurge in demand. So because of which uh, the manufacturer is outsourcing a complete production of the item or a semi-finished good uh, to an external subcontractor. This can be done by using a bomb journal so you can simply post a bomb journal directly and the material for the rm will be consumed and the the finished good item will be uh, generated in your product receipt so this posting generates an inventory receipt for the product and for the finished good product together with an associated with an associated bomb and the inventory issue also happens for the product that is included in the bomb right that's what we discussed now this inventory journal type is useful in simple or high volume production so that's what i said so suddenly you have a high volume production and you want to do a subcontracting operation where you don't want to go through the regular process of uh, posting the picking list and then um, where the route, routes are not required this is the most important point where you don't have any routes you don't have uh, any operations which need to be performed inside your premises and it is performed outside of your premises by a subcontractor in those cases you can use bomb journal posting you can issue the rm and then complete the the fg receipt so that's what we will see in today's episode so let me quickly get into the system and uh, in order to perform the bomb journal first of all and also i will say uh, this is a just a quick video to give you a glimpse of how to achieve the scenario using the bomb journal and there are a lot more videos which are available in youtube and articles in linkedin for bomb journal for a detailed setup if you want if you want please do check out those uh, videos this is not for uh, uh, giving you a detailed description about bomb journal but just to give you an idea about how to use bomb journal to complete a finished good product without getting into production order so first setup is uh, creating a journal name so in the inventory management uh, journal names in the inventory uh, so make sure that you create an inventory journal name so just if i'll just simply click on new so you need to make sure that the journal type should be bomb so already there is a journal type available in the system so i'll simply make use of this there is a journal type uh, with the name bomb and uh, make sure that the journal type should be bomb and uh, for the voucher series is based on which the number sequence will be generated for the bomb journals uh, and also and also you can discuss the setup these setups uh, primarily with your finance team when you are configuring it but the important point here is you need to make sure that the inventory journal is created with the journal type as bomb and once the journal type is created then make sure that you assign it in your inventory and warehouse management parameter um, so under journal section you can assign it in the bomb uh, and this is the id which is already assigned so by default when i create a bomb journal to create a bomb journal go to inventory management journal entries and then bill of materials so if i click on new automatically the i bomb is picked the name i bomb is picked because this is what we have configured in the inventory and warehouse management parameter so it is automatically picked so let's say if we are creating the bomb journal for the same site and warehouse um 221 so let's try to create it for okay let it be 221 that's fine that is the site and varos in which we are doing the experiment so the you can directly add the line item items over here 
but um, i would say that is uh, a difficult process but instead of that adding the journal lines over here all you can do is just simply click on the functions on the top and click on report as finished so here you need to add the fg item for which you have configured the bomb so in our case we have configured the bomb for the fg shirt so that is the item which we were using right from beginning of this episode so fg shirt is the item and this is for the site 2 warehouse 21 and the location i think there is only one location i have created just default so i want to manufacture let's say 20 shirts so but i am not doing it inside my premise only thing i want to do is i want to consume the raw material which is pertaining to the bomb of fg shirt but i just manufactured it using a subcontractor uh, so i will not post it now i want to check the bomb lines so make sure that you disable the post now button if you want to check the bomb line so i've added the item number site warehouse location and the quantity so you can see it has picked the um, bomb motion id also so let me click on ok so now once i hit the ok button you can see the against the item fg item whatever the raw materials applicable it has automatically picked and fetched it to the journal lines so you can see wherever uh, the it is tick mark is enabled those are the bomb lines and this is the finished good item so that you can easily understand the, the what it is so you can also see based on the requirement of the fg item it is going to reduce the quantity from my inventory that's why a negative line is getting created and uh, also this is specific this is also trying to take the material from the site and warehouse 2 and 21 i think even if you want you can change it over here this, this way will allow you to change the site and warehouse if required but as of now i am going to keep it in the same site and warehouse and uh, i need to capture the um, storage dimension because uh, storage dimension for all these three items we have enabled site warehouse and location so that's why i'm capturing all these three and um, so one more thing which i want to tell you is if there are any other dimension which are applicable you make sure that you capture the same in the inventory dimension section and then uh, all you have to do is you need to validate this bomb journal let's do uh, the validation uh, we have an error over here let's try to see 120 cannot be because only four okay so only four is available against this so 120 cannot be picked so we'll try to reduce the quantity then um, probably i will delete all the lines journal lines cannot be well dependent in to journal line exist okay first let me delete the lines and then on the i can delete the fg so now let me go back and create the bomb journal for one quantity so we don't have sufficient inventory there that's the reason it is stopping us so let's try to create for for one quantity i think then it should allow us um so appropriately the the requirement will be calculated for the rm items so let me in disable post now so that's the reason i have disabled post now so that you will be able to know what is the what is the error which we have and you can make the changes accordingly so i'll click on ok so this time you can see only one uh, only one is actually fetched uh, one quantity is based on one quantity the requirement is calculated now this time let's try to do the validation i'll capture the location um, default right so let me click on validate i think this time okay so this time also we have an issue picked only for because okay so rm button is the concern so rm button we have only four quantity let me change it to four and then let me try to validate again let me validate and then i'll post it so this is validated for four quantity now let me try to post it fine so this is actually posted but actually this is uh, i should say we should not uh, edit the line item or the unit quantity but in the bomb journal we are able to edit it so I, I will not definitely recommend you to do that because just for the sake of this video we have edited the quantity and uh, we have posted continued for posting but uh, it should be based on the configuration what we have given in the given actually in the bomb lines but here d3 allows us to edit the quantity and go ahead with the posting uh, to create the fg item so now if you see uh, i think fg item this would have been created let's check this in the 
on and page mm. so this is a quick way of completing your process because you can you can see here we have not posted any picking list journal or root code journal so nothing has been done rf is posted directly and uh, let me go to inquiries on and list so we have g and varos and 21 just click on apply so we have eight quantity let me go to transactions yeah you can see here that uh, one quantity is being purchased using uh, the bomb journal 228 yeah this is the bomb journal 228 and using 228 one quantity has been purchased so fg is updated for that particular item fg shirt right so this is how you can also do using a bomb journal but like is explained in the presentation slide this inventory journal type is useful in simple or high volume production if you have a high volume production exceeding the capacity and you are going to outsource it uh, to the vendor or you have a planned maintenance schedule so quickly you want to complete it using an external uh, subcontractor in those cases you just issue the raw materials using a transfer order or uh, simply a transfer journal and then um, and then if and then if you want you can also do it by using the bomb journal posting what we discussed right now so that the rm is issued from your inventory and uh, why i say transfer order because the rm should not be used until the process is completed from your from your uh, uh, subcontractor so once the uh, you can create a virtual subcontracting warehouse where you can move the material from the your regular RM warehouse to your subcontracting warehouse, complete the uh, operation from your vendor, receive the material back from your uh, uh, subcontracting warehouse to the RM warehouse, and then uh, post your bomb journal. In that way, you will have absolute control of your RM issues. Right? So that brings us to the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will quickly check out the costing sheet basics, and then um, we will quickly check out the inquiries and reports which are applicable for this production control. Because overall, throughout this episode, we have covered some of the important major topics of this of the production control uh, of the production control management. So please do share your thoughts in comment section and. Um, make sure that you whatever the uh, whatever the whatever we learn so far please do do it in your own system or uh, because practice is the only thing which is very very important as far as uh, learning is concerned so please do make sure that you subscribe to my channel shriram sushankar and day 3 for talks uh, if you are using youtube and uh, if you are using linkedin make sure that you subscribe to my channel page thank you